sur Cannes, le sommet du well, the G20 summit in Cannes, I'd like to come back on that. First of all, to our partners of the G20 that uh, are present here in the room and that uh, actually saw a summit that was useful, very useful, but that was a little bit under the overall impression of the Eurozone issues. Why? Because uh, the day before, and that is uh, correct, the uh, Greek Prime Minister announced that the general surprise, and uh, surprise also in his own country, to organize a referendum on uh, the uh, plan in order to save his country. And this was a conditional plan. So. Uh, we invited him to Cannes to clarify things. Organizing referendum is, of course, the most democratic uh, decision possible and decide upon it. But we told him it is absolutely to be clear that the question would be, would have to be do you want to stay in the Eurozone? This is the only thing that you can ask. Because we clarified that should there be any uncertainty, uncertainty on the wish of the Greek people, European partners would not forward the expected financial support. We cannot just hand out billions of euros without knowing what Greece would do with it. So we said very clearly, we would be ready to finance and continue to support the Greek economy and financial means to help them come back on the tra good track. But the only real question to ask the people, are you ready to stay in the Eurozone or not? And as I said, in reality, there is no exit scenario for the historical reason I just mentioned beforehand. And in reality, the question would be, do you want to stay within the European Union while keeping the euro? Yes or no? It was a very dramatic moment, I have to acknowledge, where Mr. Papandreou and Veneziloso, uh, it's uh, Minister of Economics, realized that we were partners and uh, that uh, we wouldn't be ready to uh, assume our part of the deal if they wouldn't be clear about it. And uh, you know that uh, the Prime Minister Papandreou came back to Greece and uh, they took the decision not to organize that referendum because the huge majority of the Greek people wishes to keep the euro. The costs of uh, exiting the euro for Greece, for, uh, but also for any other country, would be incredibly high. So this also helped the new government to come, Lucas Papandemos, the new prime minister that now has a very ambitious uh, program, and we will support him as long as it takes and as long as necessary so that Greece can come back on track. As far as uh, banks are concerned, I don't know. There are two models of financing the real economy. I recall uh, Lehman Brothers. I'm not sure it's a good memory, but there are other memories as well that I can recall. So I don't know if there's one system better than another. But uh, what I understand is uh, we wish 
to capitalize and recapitalize uh, banks, as has been indicated a couple of days ago. Each country, each bank will do that, and the European institutions think that once that has happened, banks will be in a good position to continue with their traditional role. And I'm not competent to know if our use of banks is excessive or not. And the crisis of the banking system and financial system is not a European crisis. They started in the United States of America and then expanded and swapped over to the U Europe. That's it.